All right, so to reglaze a window, if you've replaced broken glass, if you just need to change out some old glazing, if you want to save your windows, I'll show you a really quick, simple technique. I'm using a, I just like the DAP 33 glazing. You want to play with it. You want to get it out and work it in your hands, okay? You can have a little paint thinner on hand just to help clean it up when you're done. Um, if you need to soften it, if it's like a little crumbly, just use some linseed oil, just a little bit of linseed oil. That'll have to take any lumps out. It's got to be real workable, so and it's got to be warm. So make sure you really work it in good like you're kneading dough, and then, then you're ready to go. Now, as far as getting the old glazing out, you know, make sure you do a really good job cleaning this up. If you have to soften it, use a, a heat gun. Some guys like to use a torch, but I'm always afraid of burning the wood, so just a heat gun. If you've got any left on there, you know, if it just won't come off, as long as it's really adhered good, you're fine. The key to glazing is not allowing any air pockets. You want to make sure you just, it's underneath, there's no voids. You get moisture in there, you get water in there, it, it's not real structurally sound, it'll crack. That's where you have your issues. So now, I know a lot of folks like to do the snake method, and you can certainly do this. I do this sometimes, depending on, you know, where you just lay it out. Um, depending on if you're working vertically, horizontally, what's easiest. But one of the best methods is to take a really good stiff putty knife. The kid with all these kind of tools is make sure you, you know, sand them so you've got nothing on there that's going to catch the uh, glazing compound and rip it off. You want it to be nice and smooth. So I just I keep all my tools, whether I'm spackling or glazing, I keep them nice and sanded down. All right, now, you're just going to take your glazing compound. This is nice and clean and dry. Put it on here and just break it off. That's all you do. Make sure you get enough on there. Don't be stingy. It's gonna, you're going to pull it off anyway. All right, so you're going to go all the way down. And by pushing it in like this, really making sure that I get a good adhesion. And it's all the way down against that wood. That's the key. All right, just like spackle, you don't want to play with it too much. You start pulling it off. So that's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take the knife and get in here. You'll see on the other side. You'll see where the wood trim is. I'm going to use that as my guide. So at the same time that I'm pulling, putting pressure down, I'm also cutting it. Keep pressure. That's the key. Keep pressure. Keep pressure. Keep pressure. And I'm cutting it and pulling it cutting it all the way across done then I pull up oh, just a little bit right there in the corner so that's it now you can smooth it out with your finger this just comes off nice and easy if if what just happened to me happens where you just have a piece over here you just same same method just push it down okay and then finish that up oh don't be worried about being too neat in the corner just yet I'll show you how we're going to do that and then you just pull this off all right now I'll show you on this side, I think it'll be easy for the camera angle. To get that nice corner, I'm just going to do the same thing where I place the knife, push it in real good, okay? So if I was to go all the way up and then I'll just show you quick, come down, you cut that right in there, okay? Pull this off. Now for this corner, I'm just going to pull this out. Just pull it out in the corner, just like that. Done. Okay, again, you don't want to play with it too much. Just pull that out. Nice and neat. And then you can smooth it out with your finger. Okay, so that's how you would do that corner. All right. I'm going to cut this a little better here. Now, so if I was going to work up now, you'd see I'd cut that. Nice and neat. So I got a good corner. And now I'm starting to do my return up this way. And just go all the way around like that. That's it. It's really simple. You're going to paint this when you're done. Make sure it dries first. Quick, simple, easy method for glazing.